Good morning, SRT. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Dr. Alan Hetherington from Kerr Chiropractic. Welcome to my presentation, Living Better Longer. The objective of my presentation is to educate members on what sets me apart, the features and benefits of my services, and ideal referrals for me. So we're going to go over what sets me apart. There's three things in particular that set me apart from other care providers in town, and we're going to go over them. The first one is my running journey. So this here is me back in about grade five or six. I did cross country like everyone else did. I wasn't very good, probably the sixth guy on my team for my grade, so not very good. But I kept doing it, I kept training and, and showing up, and I slowly got better and better. By the time I got to high school, I was pretty average, like middle of the pack, no big deal. And my friend was doing incredibly well. And at that point, I was like, okay, you know what? We're going to get good at this thing. So from then on, the rest of high school, I had an incredible increase in my performance to the point where I got a scholarship to run in university in New York in the NCAA. The one thing about this is, is how do you do that? Because only 2% of U.S. high school runners make an NCAA team. So how did I turn this average kid into an NCAA runner on scholarship? I'm going to share with you how I did that. It's the same approach I use with patients, and it's what you can use to be successful in whatever you do. So this was my approach. I didn't have the natural talent that all these other kids had. So what I did is I broke it down into each factor that was going to lead to my success. So what were those? My training, if I invested 100% into everything I did, my nutrition, sleep, treatment and recovery so I could stay healthy and perform, my mindset, and my social environment, my camaraderie. If I could optimize each one of those, I could reach my highest potential in running. And that's how I became successful. No different for longevity in life. If we use the same approach, you'll see all these areas are similar, but a little different names. The thing is, we don't always invest that same effort into each one of those things in our life, right? We might do two or three of them well, but there's other areas we neglect. And now that's likely going to be okay for you, but it, it's going to drag down the rest of the boat. The one in particular that I work with is treatment and recovery. That's my job is to help people take care of themselves. Because a lot of times we don't want to take care of ourselves and, and look after those things. The main issue is our concept of pain. This is the game we like to play with pain, right? We're in pain, everything is horrible, we need to get out of it. Okay, once we're out of pain, we're healthy, everything's okay, I don't need to do anything, right? And so we play this back and forth game when in reality, there's a spectrum across your life looking at how you're dealing with health and wellness. So the, a diagram I really love is this one here, looking at the quality of your life over the length of it. So if we look at this white line, and this fellow here back from the 1600s, we lived a long or short and fast life, right? Illness, breaking our leg, we likely died from that. Animals coming and killing us, we lived it fast and then went out, went out quickly. In modern medicine, modern lifestyle, we've gotten really good at being able to live a healthy life to about 65 as we deteriorate. And then with modern medicine, we do a really good job of lengthening out the low quality years. Now the goal that we're looking towards is this red line, right? Being able to live to the age of 100 and do what you love to do until the day you die, right? This is the goal, but how do we get there? For success in life, surround yourself with people on the same mission. This red line, that's my mission right there, right? That's what I'm going after. People on my team, we win, we win championships, we go after our goals, and I don't let people settle for less, right? So if you're bringing people into me, we're, we're going after that, okay? Two other areas that set me apart from others, the chiropractic profession, 
extensive training. We go through eight years of school where we focus on anatomy and biomechanics, assessment and diagnosis of different health issues, and then different treatment techniques for all those areas. So we cover all the bases to give you that full comprehensive assessment. Number three, you'll hear a lot of people saying, oh, I work with athletes, I work with sports injuries, but what sets me apart is my sports experience because you don't see those people out in the field. Last three years, I worked over 200 soccer games as a first aid therapist. So I'm out there in the field, I'm seeing acute injuries, I'm working with these athletes in game and seeing what's going on. I've done this at provincial level, I've done this with semi-professional teams. So if there's sports injuries in town, then this is gonna be the best place to send them. Moving on to features and benefits of my services. So once we've done a physical assessment, we've given you a diagnosis. These are the different features. Our classic manipulation of joints, <coughs> spinal, but also extremities, right? So a lot of people don't recognize that. We'll work with muscles, doing your soft tissue release, your muscle release, whatever you like to call it, but we're also working with the muscles. It's not all just about manipulating the joints. We have some different tools in the clinic, some long axis distraction, so mechanical table that's going to, to help with different conditions, and as well as a couple different tools based on people's preference. Some people like different forms of adjustment. We're gonna do what is gonna help people, but also give them that preference that they like. And in addition, typical things like targeted stretching exercises, lifestyle modification, that's gonna help you in your overall life, right? But do these things actually work? Like, this is all fun, like all these cool things that we do, but is, is it actually gonna work, right? So if we look at research that's been going on with chiropractic care, what are the benefits? Are people getting better? In the first three, or the first four weeks after initial care of chiropractic, regardless of what you're coming in with, people find an 80% improvement. Right? So you go from zero, you're, you're improving 80% from when you came in. And anecdotally, I find that's about accurate. I usually find 70 to 80% when people come in through that first four weeks, they're getting better. Comparing that to your other options. So if we're doing first four weeks of care, how many, how, what percentage of people get better if they go for standard medical care? About 17% are going to get better if you just do that. If you add in chiropractic manipulation with your standard care for what you're going in for, about 73% get better. For drug use, chiropractic patients have a 50% lower risk of using opioids. So we have this big problem with using drugs for pain. Chiropractic care decreases that need to use drugs for pain management. When it comes to surgery, these fun things up here, drilling in holes and cutting things out. When it comes to surgery, chiropractic care can help limit that risk. If the first person you go to see is a surgeon, you have a 42% likelihood of getting surgery. If you consult a chiropractor for your pain management and issues, 1.5% likelihood of getting surgery. So if, you, if you're a hammer, everything starts looking like a nail. We're gonna do things so that we can prevent that from happening. Benefits I find in the clinic, what are things I hear? I made it to the start line of my Ironman, the bucket list race. I could walk around Portugal without any back pain. I can get comfortable and sleep better. A lot of people have trouble with sleep because of their pain, and I'm not that headache person anymore. So we're changing people's quality of life, we're changing how they think of themselves so that they can live healthier lives. How do we get more people to get these benefits? I need to do a better job of training my sales team, right? So what are my ideal referrals? We're gonna go over a couple of them and I'm gonna train you on how to deal with those conversations. So two we're gonna look at is headache and neck pain and sports injuries. So kind of covering a more broader spectrum. So this is what your neck pain patient looks like, someone dealing with headaches, they're going to be holding their neck, they're going to be really uncomfortable. 
age 30 to 50 years old, working a lot of desk and computer jobs. These could be people working at Procter & Gamble, business services, education, food and hospitality. Things they're gonna say. I've been getting bad headaches lately. They're not gonna show up to work. I have to miss work because my neck pain and my headaches are so bad, I can't even concentrate. So, what do you say when you come across a person like this? Don't suffer through it. I know a chiropractor that's helped eliminate lifelong headaches. Give the clinic a call today, he can fit you in this week, right? So we'll fit them in this week, we'll be able to get them in, but th those are the sorts of conversations you can have with them. Number two, sports injuries. So these can be your weekend warriors, people getting towards retirement, looking for some hobbies to do, picking up new things, or your youth athletes, people training, trying to reach the next level of their competition. What sorts of things do they say? What are you gonna hear from them? I wanna run a marathon. I wanna go after some big goal. Well, that takes a lot of work. My ankles kill me after that run I just went on. Or they've had a busy weekend. They're talking about what they did on the weekends. That baseball tournament, oh my gosh. My shoulders kill me after that baseball tournament. I don't know if I can play next week. Nonsense, they can play next week. What you're gonna to say to them? Wow, that's gonna to be tough. I know this chiropractor. He's a great runner. He's gonna help you make the start line. Give the clinic a call today. He'll get you booked in this week, right? So an easy way to kind of segue how you know me and you know we're gonna get that problem solved this week. So just to recap everything we went over. So who am I? I got a winner's mentality. I walk the talk, I do, I do what I say. And I've got field experience when it comes to sports injuries and, and what have you. Muscles, joints, and nerves. I know how they work, I know how to diagnose them, and how to fix the problems, right? And I deal referrals for myself, neck pain and headaches, and sports injuries, okay? And thank you for your attention. That's my presentation. I look forward to presenting again. Thank you.